All this talk about repos in 2023, the fact that people cannot afford to hang on to their current vehicles, therefore they are defaulting on their loans and they are being taken back. So here's some of the selection of what's out there. How realistic is it to find a good deal, a gem among this leftovers that people just can't afford anymore? All right, here's the proof. How about a 2010 Hyundai Santa Fe? This one's just got 161,000 miles on it. They gave up on it. So would you pay, what, $125 is the current bid? That I don't understand. Let's take a little closer look at this car. And yeah, it looks like a 2010. No major damage really there. It's in New Mexico. So, but no bids. Let's find something here on this side about the bids. Uh, current bid... People aren't even willing to uh, bid on some of these cars. How about a 2004 Toyota RAV4? The current bid is 500 bucks. It's got 208,000 miles on it. Does that seem like a good deal to you? Let's take a closer look at this RAV4. Looks just like the Hyundai Santa Fe, doesn't it? <laughs> it almost does, doesn't it? 208,000 miles. Again, this one's also in New Mexico. If we want for something, let's go for, let's break it down by Silverados. 125 bucks for a 250,000 mile 2005 Silverado 1500. Hey, proof that these do last that long, but the bid is really low. This one's in Texas. Is that right? Salvage, Texas. What a great place to have a, a repo car in a place called Salvage, Texas. So there's still time on this one, but let's go down a little bit more, see if there's anything worthwhile for bidding. 2010 Silverado 1500, 5.3 liter. It's got 160,000 miles on that one. Current bid's fifteen twenty-five. dollars on the surface. So it's like a standard work truck, also in Texas. Let's change our vehicle type. What do you say? Let's go for maybe an F-150. Got 150 of these out and about. Uh, 2010 F-150, 5.4 liter, 140,000 miles basically. 1100 bucks is the bid on that one. Is that worth it? The pictures could be better, uh, but... You can't really tell much from the outside besides the terrible parking lot it's in. So, no, wait, document type is salvage Georgia. Let's, maybe it's just called Georgia versus salvage. Yeah. Oh, right, well, it's a salvage vehicle. That's a type it is in Georgia. All right. Let's bid on. Well, I'm not going to bid on any of these. How about a two, 1999 Ford F-150? 334,000 miles. And is someone going to pay six seventy five for it? That's what they've bid. Dang, look at that one. Oh, the location. There's Texas. Maybe I misread that earlier. Alabama is that one. Greenville, South Carolina. I did read. I did misread it. Okay. What else do we have here that we could find? This is the reality. This is what's out there. In terms of um, hmm, Toyotas. What's in the Toyota category? We don't look at Toyotas. How about hmm, Corolla, Camry? Can we change our vehicle type? Probably. Let's scroll down. And see if we can. Get, let's find something. Higher bidding. Uh, 2014 Avalon. Uh, current bid, $1,275. You can buy it now for $5,500 if you're okay with 229,000 miles on that car. 2012 Camry, $220,000. $1,225. Any buy it nows? Ooh, here's a, a $4,500 bid on a 2015 Corolla with 164,000 miles. All vehicles that have been repossessed. Owners can't keep them. Can't afford the payments, or at least maybe on purpose, they let go of them. If we look at, hmm, maybe we'd find something in a different category. Let's take our cars off on our option here. Let's show all the different vehicles. We haven't seen any. What else is out there? Who can't afford a BMW? Who can't afford this? Apply Above the filter on that. Above projected normal levels. No BMWs. All right. I just do this wrong. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's look at some bids here. Three twenty-five for a 2011 BMW 3 Series with 172,000 miles. They gave up on that one. This one, tr this trunk, does, this uh, hood doesn't look very good on this one. 206,000 miles, basically 207. No bids, no surprise. Oh, must be damaged. That does not look good at all. Let's drop down. Anybody want to bid on an old BMW? Probably not, because repairs are going to kill you in those kind of costs. Let's see. Let's change our vehicle type. I love this, man. This is just uh, Subarus. They last forever. On 18 of those. Get rid of our BMW option. There we go. Ooh, 
How is this a salvage? Check this out. Ah, uh, there's a typo right here. It looks like it's one mile on this 2007 Legacy. Skip that one. 236,000. Well, it's a 2005 Forester. That looks horrible. No, thank you. 2018 Forester looks better with 95,000 miles. Wow. Well, I guess it is uh, five years old, isn't it? Five years. Hmm. Okay, 40,000 miles per year approximately. Is that right? No. Anyways, 95,000 miles over five years. 20,000 miles a year. Okay. In Tennessee, Nashville, no bids on that one. You might want to go for a bid. I'll put a link to this auction site below. Just want to give you an idea of what's being put out there. What uh, are the top possible deals you could find? Let's change from Subaru to something else. Honda, 315 of these. Can we change a year? Let's look for an Accord and a CRV. Oops, Odyssey, screw that. How about a CRV? Let's go something a little newer. Anything above 2008? Now apply the filter on that. All right. 2011 CRV, $1,000 bid on that one, 260,000 miles. Maybe the takeaway is these vehicles have been uh, really driven hard, at least mileage wise. This one's been repossessed in Florida, 260,000 miles. Current bids, 1000 bucks. They got 15 hours left on this one. More pictures. No damage to be seen, at least initially. Inside doesn't look horrible. An Accord, a CRV there. Here's an Accord with 220,000 miles on it, 2013. It's been around the block, huh? 1300 bucks. Ooh, look at the damage. Skip that one. No, thank you. Here's an Accord, 2011. Okay, typo, one, one mile. That's not right. Maybe they just got these in. Those don't look good at all. 2008 Honda Accords, 264,000 miles. No bids, no thank you. Hmm. So we hear about it. They're happening. This is just one example of repossessed vehicles. Some are damaged, uh, repairable, salvaged, according to this. Anyways, leave your thoughts below. And if you have other places that are sending out some auctions on repossessions, let me know. I'll do a video on it. Thanks for watching. Adios. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.